Jeremiah chapter 23 Woe to the shepherds who destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, says the Lord. Therefore, thus says the Lord, the God of Israel concerning the shepherds who shepherd my people. It is you who have scattered my flock and have driven them away, and you have not attended to them. So I will attend to you for your evil doings, says the Lord. Then I myself will gather the remnant of my flock out of all the lands where I have driven them, and I will bring them back to their fold, and they shall be fruitful and multiply. I will raise up shepherds over them who will shepherd them, and they shall not fear any longer or be dismayed, nor shall any be missing, says the Lord. The days are surely coming, says the Lord, when I will raise up for David a righteous branch, and he shall reign as king and deal wisely, and shall execute justice and righteousness in the land. In his days, Judah will be saved and Israel will live in safety. And this is the name by which he will be called. The Lord is our righteousness. Therefore, the days are surely coming, says the Lord, when it shall no longer be said, As the Lord lives who brought the people of Israel up out of the land of Egypt. But, as the Lord lives, who brought out and led the offspring of the house of Israel out of the land of the north, and out of the lands where he had driven them, then they shall live in their own land. Concerning the prophets, my heart is crushed within me, all my bones shake. I have become like a drunkard, like one overcome by wine, because of the Lord and because of his holy words. For the land is full of adulterers, because of the curse the land mourns, and the pastures of the wilderness are dried up. Their course has been evil, and their might is not right. Both prophet and priest are ungodly. Even in my house I have found their wickedness, says the Lord. Therefore their way shall be to them like slippery paths in the darkness, into which they shall be driven and fall. For I will bring disaster upon them in the year of their punishment, says the Lord. In the prophets of Samaria I saw a disgusting thing, They prophesied by Baal, and led my people Israel astray. But in the prophets of Jerusalem I have seen a more shocking thing. They commit adultery and walk in lies. They strengthen the hands of evildoers, so that no one turns from wickedness. All of them have become like Sodom to me, and its inhabitants like Gomorrah. Therefore, Thus says the Lord of hosts concerning the prophets. I am going to make them eat wormwood and give them poisoned water to drink. For from the prophets of Jerusalem, ungodliness has spread throughout the land. Thus says the Lord of hosts, do not listen to the words of the prophets who prophesy to you. They are deluding you. They speak visions of their own minds not from the mouth of the Lord. They keep saying to those who despise the word of the Lord, it shall be well with you. And to all who stubbornly follow their own stubborn hearts, they say, no calamity shall come upon you. For who has stood in the counsel of the Lord so as to see and to hear his word? Who has given heed to his word so as to proclaim it? Look, the storm of the Lord, Wrath has gone forth, a whirling tempest. It will burst upon the head of the wicked. The anger of the Lord will not turn back until he has executed and accomplished the intents of his mind. In the latter days, you will understand it clearly. I did not send the prophets, yet they ran. I did not speak to them, yet they prophesied. But if they had stood in my counsel, then 
they would have proclaimed my words to my people and they would have turned from their evil way and from the evil of their doings. Am I a God nearby, says the Lord, and not a God far off? Who can hide in secret places so that I cannot see them, says the Lord? Do I not fill heaven and earth, says the Lord? I have heard what the prophets have said who prophesy lies in my name, saying, I have dreamed, I have dreamed. How long will the hearts of the prophets ever turn back? those who prophesy lies and who prophesy the deceit of their own heart. They plan to make people forget my name by their dreams that they tell one another, just as their ancestors forgot my name for Baal. Let the prophet who has a dream tell the dream, but let the one who has my word speak my word faithfully. What has straw in common with wheat? says the Lord. Is not my word like fire, says the Lord, and like a hammer that breaks a rock in pieces? See, therefore, I am against the prophets, says the Lord, who steal my words from one another. See, I am against the prophets, says the Lord, who use their own tongues and say, says the Lord. See, I am against those who prophesy lying dreams, says the Lord, and who tell them, and who lead my people astray by their lies and their recklessness, when I did not send them or appoint them. So they do not profit this people at all, says the Lord. When this people, or a prophet, or a priest asks you, what is the burden of the Lord? You shall say to them, you are the burden and I will cast you off, says the Lord. And as for the prophet, priest, or the people who say, the burden of the Lord, I will punish them and their households. Thus shall you say to one another among yourselves, what has the Lord answered? Or what has the Lord spoken? But the burden of the Lord you shall mention no more, for the burden is everyone's own word. And so you pervert the words of the living God, the Lord of hosts, our God. Thus you shall ask the prophet, What has the Lord answered you, or what has the Lord spoken? But if you say the burden of the Lord, thus says the Lord, Because you have said these words, the burden of the Lord, when I sent to you, saying, You shall not say the burden of the Lord. Therefore, I will surely lift you up and cast you away from my presence, you and the city that I gave to you and your ancestors. And I will bring upon you everlasting disgrace and perpetual shame, which shall not be forgotten. Jeremiah chapter 24 the Lord showed me two baskets of figs placed before the temple of the Lord. This was after King Nebuchadrezzar of Babylon had taken into exile from Jerusalem King Jeconiah, son of Jehoiakim of Judah, together with the officials of Judah, the artisans and the smiths, and had brought them to Babylon. One basket had very good figs, like first ripe figs, but the other basket had very bad figs, so bad that they could not be eaten. And the Lord said to me, what do you see, Jeremiah? I said, figs, the good figs, very good, and the bad figs, very bad, so bad they cannot be eaten. Then the word of the Lord came to me. Thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, like these good figs, so I will regard as good the exiles from Judah, whom I have sent away from this place to the land of the Chaldeans. I will set my eyes upon them for good, and I will bring them back to this land. I will build them up and not tear them down. I will plant them and not pluck them up. I will give them a heart to know that I am the Lord, 
and they shall be my people, and I will be their God, for they shall return to me with their whole heart. But thus says the Lord, like the bad figs that are so bad they cannot be eaten, so I will treat King Zedekiah of Judah, his officials, the remnant of Jerusalem who remain in this land, and those who live in the land of Egypt. I will make them a horror, an evil thing, to all the kingdoms of the earth, a disgrace, a byword, a taunt, and a curse in all the places where I shall drive them. And I will send sword, famine, and pestilence upon them until they are utterly destroyed from the land that I gave them and their ancestors. Jeremiah chapter 25 The word that came to Jeremiah concerning all the people of Judah in the fourth year of King Jehoiachim, son of Josiah of Judah, that was the first year of King Nebuchadrezzar of Babylon, which the prophet Jeremiah spoke to all the people of Judah and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem. For twenty-three years, from the thirteenth year of King Josiah, son of Ammon of Judah, to this day, the word of the Lord has come to me, and I have spoken persistently to you, but you have not listened. And though the Lord persistently sent you all his servants, the prophets, you have neither listened nor inclined your ears to hear when they said, Turn now, every one of you, from your evil way and wicked doings, and you will remain upon the land that the Lord has given to you and your ancestors from old and forever. Do not go after other gods to serve and worship them, and do not provoke me to anger with the work of your hands. Then I will do you no harm. Yet you did not listen to me, says the Lord, and so you have provoked me to anger by the work of your hands to your own harm. Therefore, thus says the Lord of hosts, because you have not obeyed my words, I am going to send for all the tribes of the north, says the Lord, even for King Nebuchadrezzar of Babylon, my servant, and I will bring them against this land and its inhabitants, and against all these nations around. I will utterly destroy them and make them an object of horror and of hissing and an everlasting disgrace. And I will banish from them the sound of mirth and the sound of gladness, the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride, the sound of the millstones and the light of the camp. This whole land shall become a ruin and a waste, and these nations shall serve the king of Babylon seventy years. Then after seventy years are completed, I will punish the king of Babylon and that nation, the land of the Chaldeans, for their iniquity, says the Lord, making the land an everlasting waste. I will bring upon that land all the words that I have uttered against it, everything written in this book, which Jeremiah prophesied against all the nations. For many nations and great kings shall make slaves of them also, and I will repay them according to their deeds and the work of their hands. For thus the Lord, the God of Israel, said to me, Take from my hand this cup of the wine of wrath, and make all the nations to whom I send you drink it. They shall drink and stagger and go out of their minds because of the sword that I am sending among them. So I took the cup from the Lord's hand and made all the nations to whom the Lord sent me drink it. Jerusalem and the towns of Judah, its kings and officials, to make them a desolation and a waste, an object of hissing and cursing, as they are today. Pharaoh, king of Egypt, his servants, his officials, and all his people, all the mixed people, all the kings of the land of Uz, all the kings of the land of the Philistines, Ashkelon, Gaza, 
Ekron, and the remnant of Ashdod, Edom, Moab, and the Ammonites, all the kings of Tyre, all the kings of Sidon, and the kings of the coastlands across the sea, Dedan, Tima, Buzz, and all who have shaven temples, all the kings of Arabia, and all the kings of the mixed peoples that live in the desert, all the kings of Zimri, all the kings of Elam, and all the kings of Media, all the kings of the north, far and near, one after another, and all the kingdoms of the world that are on the face of the earth. And after them, the king of Sheshach shall drink. Then you shall say to them, Thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Drink, get drunk and vomit, fall and rise no more, because of the sword that I am sending among you. And if they refuse to accept the cup from your hand to drink, then you shall say to them, Thus says the Lord of hosts, You must drink. See, I am beginning to bring disaster on the city that is called by my name. And how can you possibly avoid punishment? You shall not go unpunished, for I am summoning a sword against all the inhabitants of the earth, says the Lord of hosts. You, therefore, shall prophesy against them all these words and say to them, The Lord will roar from on high and from his holy habitation at his voice. He will roar mightily against his fold and shout like those who tread grapes against all the inhabitants of the earth. The clamor will resound to the ends of the earth, for the Lord has an indictment against the nations. He is entering into judgment with all flesh, and the guilty he will put to the sword, says the Lord. Thus says the Lord of hosts, See, disaster is spreading from nation to nation, and a great tempest is stirring from the farthest parts of the earth. Those slain by the Lord on that day shall extend from one end of the earth to the other. They shall not be lamented or gathered or buried. They shall become dung on the surface of the ground. Wail, you shepherds, and cry out, roll in ashes, you lords of the flock. For the days of your slaughter have come and your dispersion, and you shall fall like a choice vessel. Flight shall fail the shepherds, and there shall be no escape for the lords of the flock. Hark the cry of the shepherds and the wail of the lords of the flock. For the Lord is despoiling their pasture, and the peaceful folds are devastated because of the fierce anger of the Lord. Like a lion he has left his covert, for the land has become a waste because of the cruel sword and because of his fierce anger. Take care. God bless. I'll see you next time.